Oh, sorry. Hello, everybody. My name is Kessler from One Eyes Bear from Bear Challenge for that. And I promise I wasn't greeting ducks. I was greeting you, of course. But today, we will be looking at orders of magnitude. Now, Sicky Figgies, the whole deal with Sicky Figgy was cramming in as much accuracy as possible without making any assumptions. But, well, orders of magnitude are almost the exact opposite. No uh, definition of an order of magnitude, just a sheer estimate. And it can only have one sig fig, at most one sig fig. Now, the mathematical definition would be, well, powers of 10. What you should know if you study scientific notation, wink, wink, future lesson. But the thing is, they are just used for sheer estimates. And they're nowhere near accurate. But if you don't have enough data, this is very reasonable to you. If you do have a lot of data, though, can you more than one sig fig, then why would you be using this? But this is just if you don't have enough data, which is very important and actually very common when you're studying things in science. So I have this giant lake all the way behind me. You can probably see it if I move a little. Uh, we'll capture the lake. You can probably see it. And now let's say I want to measure the volume of this lake. Measuring, measuring. Professor Subordinal.exe, he fainted. Oh, sorry. The thing is, I can't just measure it with my eyes. I can't eyeball it this time. But the thing is, instead, have to use a model. Because nobody is going to take some 15-gallon water bottle out of nowhere, pour everything out, and then just swallow this entire lake up. Uh, if you have a 15-gallon cup in the comments, please tell me. I'll make sure to buy it, no matter what price you set. I want to capture all this water. But anyways, the thing is, how are we going to find it? Well, we need some sort of estimate. But the thing is, we can't use any sticky figures. So what can we use? The order of magnitude model. Can we use to measure this lake? Well, let's give you six choices. You have square, circle, crack, triangle, uh, uh, cube, rectangular prism, and cylinder. Now, I want you to find the correct answer for all seven. Now, the, now the duck is key, keeps suggesting that the answer is quack. But is it really quack? No, I'm sorry, the seventh option is wrong. So, so what is the answer to this? What model should we use for this lake? Well, uh, of course, it, it, the lake is 3D, it has some depth. So circle, square, uh, triangle, quack, they're all pieces of leap. So, now we only have three choices left. Let's raise the suspense. Okay, this drum roll with my legs is probably not a good idea. But anyways, uh, we have a cube, a rectangular prism, and the cylinder left. Now obviously, this is not rectangular in the slightest. Can, you can just observe for a second and tell me if it's rectangular. That damn plane up there! Okay, sorry. But anyways, this is not rectangular or square in the, the slightest. The surface of this is not rectangular or square. Now you can see that that lake behind me is not rectangular or square in the slightest. Now it's not quite circular either because of that little panhandle over there. But the thing is, the circular, the closest thing we can get, that means that that is the best model. Not crack, not a rectangular prism or a uh, cube. And that means that we should use a cylinder. So, oh my god. Hi, Verb. All right. So now the uh, cracker has passed. But anyways, what can we use to measure this? So, well, let's say that this is about one kilometer long. Let's go to the smart board and get this done. We will be uh, estimating the volume of water in this lake. Of course, according to my observations, the water looked like this. Uh, sorry, sorry look like this and the well about this area was covered in lily pads but still this is uh, approximately how it looked like which is nowhere near a circle we would have to cut off the nose if we do but uh, the thing is a cylinder or a circle base is the best we can get and obviously there's gonna be different depth because I saw like the edge of it was uh, just inches long. It was really shallow at the edges, but really deep. So if we were talking real, we would be probably talking half of a sphere or a semi-sphere or a hemisphere, sorry. But we're talking just an estimate. 
So we'll be looking at a cylinder. That's a very sloppy cylinder. Now, of course, a cylinder's area is pi r squared a. What would be the length or the diameter of this lake? Well, that would be equal to one kilometer, at least uh, according to my estimate. But for those of you who measure in freedom per square eagle, I know quite a few of uh, my viewers do that, that would be 0 0.62131 miles. Hmm, how many city figures is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's leading zero is not a sig fig. You can learn this and more in my previous lecture about physics. Uh, hint, click, uh, hint, hint, click, click. But anyways, um, uh, anyways, that's our life. But we need to cut it in half. So just like the Roman Empire, we're gonna slice it in half, giving us a nice and clean 500 meters. That's not a thought. All right, let's write the equation for the volume. So volume is pi um, times 500 whole squared, uh, 500 meters whole squared. Can't forget the units. And then you have you have h, and that would be, hmm, let's say that we have times 100. Actually, um, we, I said 100 in the video, but well, let's just pretend it never existed. It out of existence just like the Ingsoc papers in 1984. They don't need to know. But anyways, um, don't tell the viewers past this point that I actually said 100 meters, it was actually just 10 meters all along. Uh, they don't do that in Western China anymore. But anyways, um, uh, it was out of existence. But anyways, um, that gives us V equals for disrespect three. Just like in communist Russia, everyone is equal, even the pot. Three, so times five hundred squared. Calculating two five zero zero zero. So now, um, let's put the meter squared, and then we have the ten meters. Wow! Now we're simplifying it. So now that gives us three times um two point five times ten to the fifth. But remember, we have an extra ten, so that gives us ten to the sixth. Jesus Christ, we have fatty numbers over here. But then, meter cube. But where are we the uh, m squared and m into the, this one? But anyways, sorry. Now this is on the upper side of the cast system. I mean, I mean, this is on the upper side of the spectrum from one to 10. And so that gives us, well, let's estimate to the order of magnitude of seven. That gives us 10 to the seventh power two. Drum roll, please. If that wasn't a drum roll, that was a leg roll. But anyways, seven point, no, no, no. 10 to the seventh power, meter cubed. Okay, I gotta go. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.